We have the results of the Top Gear survey. This is where you tell us what it's like to own various cars. 56,000 of you responded. We're very grateful to you all. Uh, and I'm delighted to say that the car, the most satisfying car that you can own, um, according to the people who actually own it, not just test drive it, is a car I've championed for years, the Honda S2000 oh, no. again. No, no, no. And what do you say is the best small sports car? BMW Z4. Which came 62nd. Oh. And you, Porsche mm, Boxster, as yes. I recall, you say that's better than the Honda. That was 43rd. Oh, dear. Speaking of which, how are the electric windows in your Porsche Boxster? Five. Still broken? No, they work. I'm not always in it when they work. Yeah, he's normally... <laughs> he's very often in bed when they work. Yeah. Well, maybe. But my other car, the Fiat Panda, I think I'm right in saying... What's funny about it? <laughs> No, you couldn't be more right. He does have a Fiat Panda, and you're right, James, it was in the top ten with all the Skodas. What people are saying here is, is that it was better than they thought it was going to be. Yes. It's like, which is like buying a ton of manure. It doesn't smell that bad, actually. <laughs> to be honest, I am quite surprised by it because it's fun to drive, it's well made, it's economical, it looks good. It I'd... says all of that in the magazine bump, but it also says that people claimed it was predictably slow. Which it is, it is. Why don't you tell the ladies and gentlemen what happened when we all met up the other day to go on a shoot, met at the hotel, we had to go to location, you turned up in your... Pa we had, I had an Aston that day yeah. and you had a 911. Yeah. Well, all right, but in fairness, I had only picked it up that morning and it only had eight miles on the clock and I didn't know what all the knobs and things did yet. What do you I mean, mean all, there's only two knobs in it. Well, three if you count the one who bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I said, look, I haven't got a map. Can I just follow you? And they said, yes, yes, of course you can. Come on, off we go. And they went off at 120 miles an hour. <laughs> you should have bought a faster car, then you could have kept up. You used it as an excuse last night to fondle my leg. Rubbish, you rubbish. Did. Did. <laughs> he said, oh, I'll give you a lift to the pub. And we got into a fit pan, we kept saying, stop touching me. You can't not touch someone. No. It's like sharing a bath with somebody. Yes. Got, get on the back of my horse, but don't touch me. <laughs> He exploited the diminutive size of my panda to sit there going, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I just... Can I just get back to this uh, list, OK? Of the I want to give you the bottom six, the six least reliable cars that you can buy. Uh, see if you can spot a trend here. Uh, six from last, Peugeot 407, Citroen C8, Renault Megane, Peugeot 307, Renault Espace, Peugeot 807. <laughs> They're all, all French. French. I know. Yes. French. French have got better things to do than go around making cars. That's what it basically was. Pardon? What? Well, France, France is a lovely country. Hang oh, on, come on, hang on. Where does Christian Scott Thomas live? Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that might have something to do with your sudden spirited defence of, of France. No, because I've always liked France. This is pathetic. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You'd be exactly the same if Graham Norton was coming on. <laughs> Um, 